Uh, today was also uh, the deadline set by House Democrats for the IRS to hand over Trump's tax returns. But Trump said, nah. <laughs> I would love to give them, but I'm not going to do it while I'm under audit. It's very simple. Remember, I got elected last time, the same exact issue, with the same intensity, which wasn't very much, because, frankly, the people don't care. The people don't care. I could release my taxes in the middle of Fifth Avenue, and they'd be like, oh, man, you said you were going to shoot someone. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Plus, yesterday, the IRS commissioner said again that you can release your taxes even if you're under audit. But we still might not see the returns because the person who oversees the IRS is Secretary of the Treasury and guy in a Disney movie yelling, arrest that dog! <laughs> Steve Mnuchin, yesterday, the Mnuch appeared before a House Appropriations Subcommittee and was asked about coordination between the White House and the Treasury Department over the returns. That's important, because if they did uh, coordinate, if they did communicate, it might violate a law meant to limit political involvement in requests of tax returns, and Mnuchin said this. Our legal department has had conversations prior to receiving the letter uh, with the White House General Counsel. I acknowledge that there were conversations. Not communications, just, uh... <laughs> just, uh... Just conversations, conversations, you know. Friendly office banter between, uh, the Treasury's legal department and the White House General Counsel, you know, like, uh, hey, have you seen Game of Thrones? Are you excited? You're like, oh, yeah, I'm very excited for this weekend. Say, hey, by the way, can I borrow your shredder? And you know, you know where there might be a pit in the woods where I could burn some things? <laughs> now, uh, Mnuchin told the committee he had a meeting scheduled with a foreign leader after his testimony, and when it was time for him to leave, things got a little testy between uh, the secretary and committee chair Maxine Waters. We would request or require uh, that you come back at least two more times in the month of May. Is that something you're agreeing to? No, ma Madam Chair, I find this to be, you know, I, I have here every single time Jack Lew and other people came here. There's never been anybody that's been here more than three hours and 15 minutes. I've sat here for over three hours and 15 minutes. You realize he came in with the list prepared to complain. <laughs> Before I sit down in your restaurant, I want you to know the service here will be terrible. <laughs> As you will see on this pre-filled out comment card. <laughs> I'll also happen to know that when Jack Lou was here, the soup of the day was tomato. Today, it's potato leek. You're a monster. <laughs> now, Waters remained calm and gave Mnuchin an offer he could not refuse because he could not understand it. If you wish to leave, you may. Can you clarify that for me? Yes, clarify. Is so, this, so if I'm you dismissed. wish to leave, you may. Okay, so we're, we're, you're, we're dismissed. Is that correct? If you wish to leave, you may leave. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Great. So the guy in charge of the nation's entire economy is stumped by this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak Latin. What is that? <laughs> Waters eventually made it clear. You are Which free to leave any time you want. Time. You okay, may go well then, uh, anytime please, you want. Please, please dismiss everybody. I believe you're supposed to take the gravel and, and bang it. I'm surprised Maxine Waters didn't take the gravel <laughs> and shove it up his arse. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.